welcome to Dabbling in Journals. Today I thought I would do a desk tour. I love watching desk tour videos myself and I thought it would be lovely to share my desk space with you. As you can see it's very cluttered but that's how I like it. I am very lucky in that I do have a little room that I'm able to use for my art for my journaling, for my crafts and so on. And that's simply because my eldest children have now flown the nest, have their own homes, and I only have my 13 year old son living still at home with us. So I've got this little extra space I used to have to manage with a little bureau in our family room in the corner, but now I've expanded <laughs> to fill my space. So I'm just going to show you around my room. So I'll come in first of all and we'll look at my desk. So as we come in to my desk, you can see I have a lovely watercolour palette that's sitting on my desk, plus a little extra palette that I plan to use for filming. And I have a heat gun there, which I use for drying watercolour when I'm using it in journals. I have my beautiful Superior Labour bag, which was a birthday gift from my partner during lockdown. So that poor bag has never been out. <laughs> it's not had its debut. Is that is that a word? I think so. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But I really, really love that bag. And next to my bag, I have some pretty flowers. And up on my Calyx unit, I'm trying not to move too fast so I don't make anybody sick. Like many crafters, journalers, I have one of these IKEA units, which you fit all these 12 by 12 boxes in. I didn't choose a very sensible colour for a... <laughs> As you can see, there's painty finger marks on some of my boxes. On top of the unit, I do have some bits and pieces that I treasure. I have a journal there, that's my morning pages journal, my sister journal behind that pretty teacup and my dog's journal. I have my watercolour cups that I use for watercolour painting, a lantern behind there that was a gift from a friend. I've got some more journals, my Christmas journal, a little photograph album I made, another gift from a friend which says Good friends are hard to find, harder to leave and impossible to forget, which was lovely. I've got a little felt flower that my daughter gave me, one of my daughters, my younger one. Tin that I've upcycled from a coffee tin, covered in paper and filling with pens. And then right up on the wall, I've got this beautiful wall sticker. I don't know if I can see it, it's too far. I'm trying to go bend backwards, I'm going to fall over in a minute. And it says, I love you to the moon and back. And that was a present from my partner, which I treasure. It's lovely having something like that on your wall. If I come back down, there's my sketchbook journal and a pencil roll full of watercolour pencils. And I have my journaling pouch, which is a Delphonics pouch. And underneath all my alcohol markers. And then, I'm trying not to move too fast. <laughs> I have lots of colour pencils, those are my Polychromos colour pencils and the pencil case behind is full of Derwent Lightfast colour pencils. I've got some memorabilia on my wall, cards from my partner, a little message. I've got a little picture from a scroller box that I particularly liked, thought it was really pretty. Right up top on the wall I've got photographs of my daughter when she was younger. She went to ballet school. That's a pastel painting that I did that I was proud of, so I stuck it on my wall. And some postcards, some little things our twins made me. Another I love you to the moon and back. I think my son made that one. And if I come down towards the bottom of my desk again, I've got a traveller's notebook bag that I like, I like a pouch. My tarot journal with this week's tarot card on it. I've got this really lovely superior labour tag that came in an order from the Mardo store and um, which I really treasure. I have a little fox that my younger daughter crocheted for me and a box full of essential oils. And then of course the piece de resistance, 
I've got all my journals, the ones that I use every day. And then coming down onto my desk, I've got all my little bits and pieces that I treasure. I have this beautiful pen that my partner bought me. So if I can just take it out and show you, it's a dip pen with a feather. I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> so I have a gift there from my partner. I have a little brass vase from my childhood and a stone candle holder. I have three beautiful crystals, one each from each of my three children. So I really love those. I have an oil burner from my adopted daughter. <laughs> She's not actually officially adopted, but that's how I think of her. Some tarot cards. This bottle, my eldest daughter made for me. And I really love that. It all lights up inside. I have a cup my niece made for me. So basically my desk has all these little personal mementos, things that I treasure. I've got another traveller's notebook pouch there. Some sticker files, more coloured pencils in that pencil case. And an electric pencil sharpener. And then as I come round, I've got this really handy sort of chest of drawers, which is just full of pens. I can easily reach without having to move. Little Delphonics pouch without supplies in. My clips. Oh, I have this lovely bath oil that my younger daughter made me. And I haven't used it. I feel, I feel like I'm saving it for a special occasion, although I don't know what. But I don't want to break the seal. Look how beautiful the seal is. And it's got all kinds of bits in. So I've, I have that sitting on my desk at the moment. I've got some little bowls full of... These are little pieces of wood with a slit in that I use to hold cards that are inspiring me. Some stamps. And then I have my pencil, pencil shapings jar which I have because I didn't research very well when I bought my pencil sharpener, my electric one, and it only fits one of the three brands of pencils that I use, which is a bit of a shame. So I have to hand sharpen all the others. I've got some journaling supplies, crayons, erasers, max, blah, blah, I can't speak, wax melting sticks, Right in this little corner here, I have a big jumble of washi tape and some wooden stamps. And please know that I have been collecting these supplies for years and years and years. I've been gifted lots and that's why I have so many. I have a little box there full of bits of paper for journaling. And if we go up the shelves, there's my little Samiko Gurashi white bear. I love him so much. My partner bought him as a little surprise gift for me and told me, told me where he was hiding on a day where I was feeling sad. I have my journal there, that's my memory keeping journal, my apple pig one. Here I have my tarot and oracle card collection, which I'm really enjoying and finding really inspiring. And this is a bookcase with books, obviously. <laughs> And then if I twizzle round, I do have, oh, I hope that wasn't too fast. I do have a little desktop easel, which is sitting on a trolley, which is full of my painting supplies. And I can move that onto my desk if I want to, or I can just twizzle my chair around and work on it there. And it's actually a really good height on that trolley. So I use that if I'm working in pastels or I do have some oil paints, but I haven't really experimented much with those yet. And I have a window and usually my dog is sitting here on her high bed looking out of the window. There's her rosette. <laughs> uh, but at the moment she's just back from a long run and so she is absolutely flat out on the floor absolutely zonked oh there you go you're saying hello you're saying hello you're wondering what i'm doing aren't you she's so beautiful so beautiful and as you can see it's a really tiny little room so i have my desk then my dog bed and my chair and more beautiful flowers and bits and pieces and there's my craft trolley which has got all my like inks and glitters and glues and 
all those kinds of things on it and I have it on a trolley so that I can wheel it into the family room if I want to do crafting with the children or with one of my daughters and another bookcase and right at the top I have this beautiful family sign that my eldest daughter made for me I have no idea how she made it and it's got the year so each of the months of the year and then hanging from each month are those little round discs and they've got everybody's family birthday so so that I can't have any excuse to forget somebody's birthday I think that's really beautiful it's got that flower crown hanging on it at the moment because we made those for a festival and I'm just hanging the roses upside down because my younger daughter tells me that if you hang a rose upside down you get the last bit of love from it <laughs> I have a beautiful cross stitch picture up there that my mother-in-law made me to celebrate the birth of our son and another one of my paintings that looks like it's parting from the wall it's another pastel painting and that one is a painting that my daughter did for me of a mermaid and right up at the top there's a pastel painting I did of my puppy with some of her little mate, litter mates when she was first born. Okay, so I'm going to sweep round very slowly so as not to make you sick, I hope. Back to my desk where I started. And yes, it's a big clutter, but I treasure everything that's on it. So I want to look at all the things that I love and think about the things that I have and how fortunate I am, how much I appreciate them, how grateful I am. I know I'm really lucky but I thought it would be nice to share my desk because it can be inspiring to look at somebody else's sort of desk and think about how you want to arrange your own supplies whether or not you have a little table in the corner of a room or whether you're lucky enough to have a dedicated room like I do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.